Welcome back to the channel. I've gotten this question a few times and I thought I'd address it in a video itself. And it's regarding the transmission I'm running and this weird plate that I have on, on it. Um, so if you don't really care about what transmission I'm running and why I have this plate on it, then you can click out of this. But if you are interested, stay tuned. You're gonna learn a lot today. Many of you know already that this car is, or excuse me, this car, but the motor that's going into this car is a dun, 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 is a fully built 1.8T that's still 1.8 um, and all good jazz, and it is a six-speed swap. Now let's talk about the transmission because that's what this whole video is about. If you want to learn more about the build and the process of where I've, how I've gotten to this point, click on my uh, channel, watch those videos, like and subscribe. Um, this motor is going to hop in this car extremely soon, so there's going to be a lot more content. Now to the topic at hand, this is an O2M transmission. However, it is not a front wheel drive O2M transmission. I am from the United States and unfortunately front wheel drive O2Ms for the 1.8T are rather hard to find. And if you do find them, they're extremely expensive. And when I mean expensive, I'm talking, you know, $500, six, seven, eight, even $900 sometimes, depending if they've done refresh on them. So I didn't want to spend that, but I knew I wanted to do an O2M since I will be pushing or hoping to push four to 500 wheel horsepower on this, on this car. So my solution to that was buying a all wheel drive Audi TT O2M transmission. And the transmission code is DQB. So it doesn't have the plate back here, like the new, I think they're the F, FZKs or FR, I forgot exactly. However, there's like an updated version that you would see in the GLIs that have this nice little plate that allows you to um, fix it, like any bushings that are in here um, from outside the motor or outside the transmission. I don't have that, but that's okay. So I decided, I decided to go with the O2M because of the power goals and I didn't want to spend the money. So now going into the plate. So there are a few places where you can get this plate. This plate specifically is from this guy named Beaned, or I guess he's not named Beaned, but his company is named Beaned. And as you can tell, it's O2M all wheel drive to front wheel drive. So I found this guy on YouTube because he does CNC milling and essentially he made this plate based off of some other European um, manufacturers that do this place. Like I'll, I'll link them, I don't know the name, I'm gonna butcher it for sure, but I'll pop them up right here, boom. And essentially, in order for you to turn a all-wheel drive transmission into a front-wheel drive transmission, you need things that are very simpler, simple, such as this plate, the O-rings that block off the, um, that go into the bezel box, a outer seal flange for the axle, which part number I got out of Euro tuning, and that's the part number for you. Um, the part from Volkswagen is discontinued, so you won't get it from Volkswagen. You would have to buy it um, elsewhere, but it's like five bucks, not a big deal. And according to the website, you need to do a 356A flange. Now, if you're familiar with this swap, you may know that the 356A, not the vehicle, I love that car, post the car right now, The 356A axle cup is what is said by all those, you know, companies that make this. And they say, in order for you to turn your all-wheel drive transmission to a front-wheel drive trans transmission, you need that 356A code. However, I'm here to debunk that. And also there's this guy named Stavbilt, who's also in Europe, does a bunch of 1.8T things and O2M things. And he verified that the 356, I want to show you the number, I believe it's F, F right there is the exact same length as the 356A. Now this costs a quarter of the price, if not maybe an eighth of the price, because to find that 356A axle flange, it's extremely expensive, hard to find. 
But what if I told you, you don't need it to use that and you could use this extremely cheap, I bought two axle flanges off of one glove. I didn't need both, I only, I, they, they come in pairs. And that's it. Now I, I, I got this transmission for like, I wanna say $200, bought this uh, for 70 euros, so it's like 90 USD. Five dollars and fifty dollars, so hundred, three hundred. So we're talking like three hundred and fifty dollars for an all-wheel drive transmission. Obviously, it's not with the whole swap, not a big deal. But I just got myself an O2M for we could say nearly half the price of of a normal front-wheel drive transmission would be, and that's one of the reasons why I did it. It spins. Okay, so. Don't spend the extra money on an O2M. Find an Audi TT O2M. And you got yourself a six-speed transmission for your, I'm not going to say base model, this is a GLS, but your GTI non-anniversary. Some of you may think that this is an anniversary car just because it's, you know, well, it had the front, it has the front lip from the 20th anniversary. It does have R32 side skirts, and it has an R-line Euro bumper. Um, so a lot of people think it's a 337. Um, but it's not. It's a wannabe, and I could prove it to you by opening up this mess of a car. See? Five-speed. Came five-speed. Sold the five-speed, and now we're six-speed. So if you have any questions, shoot me a text, or, I mean, like, uh, message me um, if you have any questions about this. But I will link where you buy this, and, yeah. But yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. This motor is going into this car extremely soon. I got the wastegate all done. All the water lines are ready to go. And we're really starting, we're gonna get ready to uh, plug and play and get you know, fluids into this motor, fluids into the trans. It's gonna be a really good time. So make sure you like and subscribe. Ask any questions you want about this. Let me know if you don't think I'm telling the truth. Um, I don't know, but like I said, myth busted. 356F over 356A. Save yourself money, guys.